Hi everybody. As I promised in my previous video that I am going to share the top 10 expected topics in CUCT domain section of economics. So here are a few topics. Now if you know my previous video and if you have seen that I told you to divide the topics into four categories. So same I did for you. There are few important topics. Yes, there are more topics also, but these are few the important expected ones. So let's see them. First is microeconomics. As I told you to divide into four categories, our four category is first category will be a microeconomics. So you can see that here we have demand and supply with their elasticities and we have consumer theory. Yes, so demand and elasticities like demand and supply. What you have to do is movement definitions. Then you have to talk about the elasticities, numericals, the degrees of the elasticities. Now theory of consumer in the consumer theory. What you have to do is cardinal utility, ordinal utility, then indifference curve preferences, budget line, equilibrium through indifference and budget line, equilibrium through one commodity case and two commodity case. So make sure in microeconomics you cover all your demand and supply aspects, everything. You cannot leave anything. And also your consumer theory part also. So these two are the most expected topics. Like questions are going to from these topics. Majority of the questions will be from these topics. So our next heading is macroeconomics. Under macroeconomics, national income is very important. National income, you should know why GDP causes welfare or it causes welfare or not. You have externalities, you have non-monetary exchanges. Then the definition of all the terms GDP, national income, personal disposable income, disposable income. Yes, and the very important thing is your calculation. You should be aware of your all the methods to calculate the national income. So national income part then comes theory of income and employment aggregate demand aggregate supply the graphs deficit demand excess demand the instruments to correct excess demand and deficit demand all that part is very important. Next we have exchange rate exchange rate devaluation depreciation revaluation appreciation. So make it very clear how devaluation affects the export of an economy how appreciation affects the import of an economy. All these terms should be very much clear to you. Third category is statistics. Under statistics, you have types of data collection. Yes, sampling method is very important here. Under sampling method, you have collection, presentation, organization of data. All these are very much covered under the topics which are expected. Questions can be from this part. Then you have correlation. Under correlation, it's very important the significance of correlation and the calculation part. Why correlation important like for example, if I say price of the commodity is increasing then the demand for the commodity decreases. So that shows a negative correlation. So here we have the importance of the correlation and the numericals of the correlation under our third category. Now comes our fourth category. Fourth category is Indian economic development under economic development. You have first demographic profile of India. Make sure that you are aware with birth rate, death rate, infant mortality rate and various demographic profile. You should be aware about India. Next you have poverty under it. Now under poverty, you should know the policy programs initiated by the government. How poverty is calculated poverty line. It causes unemployment and it causes inequality. So all these terms should be clear to you. Last we have under it is environment and sustainable development. Environment and sustainable definition should be clear to you. Organic farming, what are the organic ways? What are the ways through which we can have a sustainable development? Yes, you should be aware of the history of the environment also. Ki how the infrastructure development has caused degradation to the environment. So these are the four categories which I have divided and have presented you with the few important topics related to economics domain of CUCT. Apart from the top 10 topics which we have done, here are few important topics which you can see in microeconomics, macroeconomics. Statistics. And Indian economic development. With this I end my video. Thank you so much. Please make sure you like the video and subscribe the channel. Thank you.